Hey, what is going on guys? It's Connor here from Menu Docs, and welcome back to a new video on the channel. Today, we're going to be creating a event loader, event handler, um, and I guess we'll just get straight into it. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go back into the index.js file, and we just want to require um, the utilities folder that we're about to make, and then just event handler. Basically what it's going to do is it's going to go to the utility folder and then it's going to go into the event handler files. So what we're going to do straight away is just quickly make a util folder and that's going to go inside there. We don't want that to happen. We want it to be out here and then inside that file, we want to make a JavaScript file called event handler.js. Now when we're in this file, the first thing we want to do is we want to do const reg event and that's just gonna basically make regular uh, require event and that's what we're gonna use we're gonna define it as require event and then event um, arrow function re require then we're gonna require how we get the events now we're gonna have a different file for the events so that it's not inside just one file it's in a bunch of different files so once we've done that, the next thing we want to do is module dot, can I spell module dot export arrow function, oh sorry, no equals bot arrow function, if I can do the arrow function correctly, and th that's an array, that's not what we want, curly brackets, bam. Now what we do in here is a little bit like we do in the index file. We're going to do bot on. So when the bot turns on, it's going to look for the ready event. And that's going to be a function. Um, just because we have... Oh, actually, no. We don't need it to be a function. But you know what? Just for this, we'll, we'll make it a function. Because I might add something in the future. Function, then rec event. Then we do ready again. And then on the other side of that, we do bot. And then that's the ready event. That's pretty simple. You do that. And then we look here. Does it close it? It doesn't close it. So we need to close it. Wait, hold up. No, we need to close it here. That's what we need to close it. And then we do bot dot on. And we'll do a reconnecting. Reconnecting. Um, reconnecting. Bam. This will just be left empty. Arrow function rec event. No, rec event. Rec event, then reconnecting. Sorry, hold up. That shouldn't be the way. Well, yes, it should, but it should be this way. Rec event, um, reconnecting, space, bot, and then close it. Um, we should just space this out a bit to make it not as confusing. Then what we're going to do is we can basically just copy this one stick it here and we can do disconnect and then here disconnect and then we can i think we're gonna also do warn so we can do warn and then right here is also warn and i believe warn doesn't need to have this bam and then we can copy this and what else we're going to do we're going to do error so if we just do quickly do error and then error so these are the five things we're going to be looking at today uh, what we also want to do quickly is we just want to make another folder call it events and then inside that folder we want to create every single one of these so for this one ready.js uh disconnect disconnect.js um, reconnecting.js um, warn.js and then there's another one what's the other one uh, event handler disconnect warn ready we got ready reconnecting warn and then error error dot error dot js okay so we're gonna set the ready event but we're basically going to get set all of these out like we did with the uh, command handler. So, uh, sorry, discord equals require dot discord dot js. Then we're going to add 
const bot equals um sorry we don't need to add the bot because we're going to pass it so now we're going to do module dot export um equals bot and then arrow function params and then basically in this bit right here we can stick go into the index file quickly uh you see this right here what we can do is we can just quickly grab this stuff right here uh, we can actually remove this now go to the ready event plop it right there and then whenever the ready event gets called that's gonna happen um let's close the colors i don't know why that's open now for the disconnect now disconnect a little bit easier because um, we can actually copy this stuff over here um disconnect um basically for this we can just remove this and this is gonna be a little bit different we're just gonna console.log then you have been disconnected at and then we're gonna do new date bam and then we're gonna close it and then full stop so that's basically the disconnect one now the reconnecting one that's a little bit easier it's it's practically the same thing except from it's just oh hold on we should probably just copy the whole thing um wait that's oh god jesus christ okay you uh you have uh, i'm sorry hold up because it's reconnecting not reconnected uh reconnecting at bam bam now for the warn warn is actually extremely easy compared to the god damn it warn is just literally console dot warn if i can spell warn right bam and then where's the last one error and then we'll copy this and just paste it in there and this one is error now this is basically the command hand uh sorry the event handler it's extremely simple um once you get the hang of it it's easy as um but when we get around to adding like um guild creates and all that kind of stuff um i'll show you guys how to do that but we're not into that kind of stage yet um i'll i'll do more events in the next episode but this is basis the basis of it you can obviously add like dot prefix equals um obviously you need to go back bot uh bot config config um dot json and then oh sorry hold up require that should be it right oh hold up it needs to be in quotes there we go but you can basically add that and then you can add like token you don't really need token in any of the files to be fair actually i think i should show you that it works first that might be a good start so we'll start up the bot and we'll see if the ah bot is not defined hmm interesting device index is bot oh oh yeah sorry i should probably put that below because <laughs> we define bot right here so um oh, i can't do re, re i can't do restart god damn it okay um um is it warns what did i put i put warn warn oh that would be why um little bit of errors guys sorry about that module module is not defined and that's probably going to be in a lot of them isn't it yeah god damn it i've made i've made so many errors i'm sorry guys i apologize for that um it's just when i type sometimes i screw it up um but that should be it we'll try one more time and argument has to be a function interesting hmm okay so there was a mistake i added bot to the end of some of these and some of these don't need the bot thing in there so if i just do that and then i'll quickly redo it here basically the warn and the error thing don't need to have bot at the end it doesn't need to get bot passed into it but now that it's worked um as you can see the ready event has already been called bam bam and then we'll open discord and if we just 
open general chat, you can see that the bot is now playing hello, which is the thing that we have playing here, which is great. So that's worked. Um, but yeah, that I guess that's it for this episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Connor from Menu Docs. I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Bye.